Hey leaders, what's going on? So this video, if you didn't know, is actually part of a series to teach you the basics of the Shadowverse Evolve TCG, the physical card game released by Bushiroad and Side Games. If you're interested in the other topics uh, regarding the basics of the game, take a look at the playlist or the videos that I've linked somewhere around on the, on the screen here. But this video here is actually going to be talking about the game flow and the basic phases of the game and how you can go through and progress through every turn. So let's get into it. So before we actually get into the phases of the game, let's take a look at actually what happens at the very beginning of the game because Shadowverse Evolved does have a, a little bit of a different start than some other games out there. So first up, we're deciding who's gonna go first. I mean, you can do it however you want. The official rulebook says to use RPS, rock, paper, scissors, but you can use a dice or flip a coin or whatever have you. If it's not an official match, then you really shouldn't care, to be honest. Once you decide who goes first, you're gonna be setting up everything, get your deck together, get your Evolved deck together, get your Evo points and your leader. Keep in mind that the first player, player going first, gets zero Evo points for the entire game, whereas the second player gets three Evo points to be used. Additionally, you'll set your leader's health, and then you guys are gonna start drawing out cards for your hands. You both draw four cards, and keep in mind, you can mulligan one time. When you mulligan, you look at the cards that you have in your hand, and then you put them in any order. If you decide to mulligan, put them at the bottom of the deck, and then draw four cards. No shuffling at all. Keep that in mind. This is actually useful for some decks who kind of don't want cards in their hand, so you can basically bury a card at the very bottom of the deck. And again, there's no penalty for mulliganing, so you can, again, do it one time with no penalty at all, and then after that, there's no more mulligans. So going into the phases of the game to start your turn, you're going to go into the stand phase. In this phase, you do three things in the following order. First, you raise your max PP by one, and then you set your PP to max for the turn, PP here being player points. Then you're going to unrest, or what we call in this game, stand, your cards that are acted. So basically changing all of your cards from horizontal position to vertical position if they have it attacked, use some effect that required that in the previous turn. And then you're going to draw one card from the top of your deck. Keep in mind that going first, the very first turn of the game, player one does not draw a card, player two does draw a card on their first turn though. All right, once your stand phase is over, again, very robotic phase, mostly just to set up for your turn, you're going to go into the main phase here, which allows you to do pretty much anything you would want during the actual game. So you can do any of the following things that I state after this uh, in any order that you want. There's no set order or anything like that. So first up is going to be play cards using PP, your player points, you can use card effects and abilities, you can attack with your followers, and you can evolve your followers. Keep in mind that you can only evolve one time per turn, and you can only use one evolve point per turn if you're going second. Keep it So you can't use like two or three evolve points at the same time to get some major advantage. And again, this phase is fairly open, so no limits. You don't have to attack first and then evolve or evolve first and then attack. You can really do it however you see fit. So let's actually go into a bit more detail about actually attacking because uh, the way attacking works and the way quick spells work, things can get a little wild. So let's talk about the phases of an attack. So keep in mind that whenever you first play a follower, if it does not have rush or storm keyword effects, it cannot attack. Uh, whenever you do attack, you can only attack a follower who is in the horizontal position or acted or the opposing leader. Keep that in mind. Uh, there are effects that allow you to bypass this, but we'll keep those for another video. And then the sequence. So whenever you attack, you're going to first declare your target. Then you're going to change your attacking follower from the stand or vertical position to acted. Then you're going to use any when attacking keyword effects. At that point, your opponent can play any quick uh, keyword effect cards. For example, any quick spells that might destroy your follower or something like that. And then after that, if both followers still remain, you're going to calculate the battle damage. Keep in mind that damage in Shadowverse Evolved does not reset every turn, unlike other card games, and that you're going to have to keep track of a follower's life or defense total uh, using tokens or dice or something like that, because those values will stay uh, until they're attacked again or whenever they're, until they're removed from the board. So I touched on this before, but I want to go into a bit more detail because this is Shadowverse's main feature and that followers can evolve. So let's talk a little bit about evolving and how this works. So you can once per turn evolve one follower on your side of the board using a play point or an evolve point. Once you evolve the follower, you can search through your evolve deck and then you can place it on top of that follower. Keep in mind that the evolved follower's name and the pre-evolved follower's name have to be the same. Keep in mind also that damage does uh, translate over, so when you evolve, you don't like magically heal or anything, you still keep damage that you had before you evolved. Also keep in mind that if you play a follower, it normally cannot attack on the turn it's played. However, whenever you do evolve that follower, you basically gain the rush ability, which means that you can just attack any uh, acted follower on your opponent's side of the board. You cannot attack the leader, but you can attack followers. And so that brings us to the end phase of the turn. This phase really is just tying up the loose ends before your opponent's turn starts, and so there's a couple things that you can do during this phase, as well as your opponent, so keep this in mind. Uh, you can use any effects that specifically activate during the end phase. You may also switch any followers who have the ward ability from the stand vertical position to the acted 
or horizontal position. Again, not required. Your opponent can also play quick uh, effect cards from their hand. Keep in mind that they have to have remaining PP to do this. The cards are not free. And then finally, the last thing you do before your turn is over is if you have eight or more cards in hand, you discard until you have seven. Shadowverse Evolve does have a hand limit size of seven, and so keep that in mind planning out your turns. And yeah, that's really gonna be it. This one's super short, super fast. I just wanted to get the really quick, basic flow of a turn out there. Once you've mastered this, again, it's just over and over, you know, round and around you go with your opponent, and that's basically the flow of the game. If you guys have any questions about anything that I missed or I didn't really explain too much about, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. And keep in mind that this is part of a series, and so if you're interested in other things like, uh, you know, the keyword effects for the game, the kinds of cars that are in the game, how the field is set up, all those sorts of things, do me a favor and take a look at some of the other videos for the series, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Before I get out of here, don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. You guys take care. Bye-bye.